potential co or with an upset outright ACC championship as we're underway. Rachel Fairbanks to serve. And a service error to start off with and Miami gets the first point of this match. There was a few Miami players there on that back line that almost looked like they were going to reach for that ball, Jeff, but a rare error there to start for the Panthers. Fairbanks going for that deep line and just missing. And the freshman phenom, Grace Lopez, with the left-handed jump serve. Klicka digs it up, rising up. Locked down on this side. Point for the Panthers, Olivia Babcock. And Babcock just really picking up where she left off from last week. Jeff, she was named the ABCA National Player of the Week on the 14th of this month. She has five ACC Freshman of the Week awards to her name. Vasquez Gomez serve. Had one all here in the first. Good kill from the left side by Grieve. Angela Grieve, the senior from Florida, has had a really nice career at Miami. Grieve just going straight into that Panther block. Not afraid of the second highest blocking team in the country. Right side block. Set up now for Miami. Next side block, but out, and the kill to Heredia Cologne. Another player who shows up in big matches as she had a team high in kills in their sweep over Georgia Tech. 15 as Grieve continues to serve. It's 3-1 Miami. Fairbanks gets it back and the kill by Olivia Babcock. And you can see a little bit of a difference early on in these first couple of points, Jeff. The Panthers a little bit slower and more deliberate with their offense. And then on the other side for Miami, they really like to have that quick up-tempo offense. And it's due to the fact that they have one of the top setters in the country and going to be one of the best in Miami history in Savannah Vaughn. Cat Flood, the opportunity to tie this up. What a key member she is of this pit team. A near ace. Indeed, it is an ace. It's 3-3. Cat Flood picking up her 10th ace of the season, and she just comes in as a spot server, but there, just that float serve dying right in front of the redshirt senior, Angela Grieve. Coming off a couple of aces against the Cardinals. Swung by Radio Cologne, knocked out of bounds. Point Miami. And the thing about that serve, Jeff, is that that still caught Miami off guard, and they had to, Vok had to use a bump set to get that ball up in the air and be able to have an attack attempt on it. Lana Moisio, her serve, and a kill in the middle by Chiamaka Wokolo. That's a player for the Panthers that you want to get going early and often. The Panthers do a really good job of getting the ball to their pins in Stafford and Babcock, but something that they need to do to really have that consistency is get the ball to their middles. Babcock serve is dug, but out of bounds. Oh. It, it's funny because you can tell when there are new people here because they're just the reaction you get. That's just perfect. And that one is long, and that's the risk reward when you have that jump serve. It's five all. Yeah, that time that her toss a little bit behind her head and then that means that she has to reach behind her her hand angled up and that gets that ball a little bit too much lift to go out of play 99th set of the year for savannah vock now she'll set and the left-handed tip and the panthers have to send that one over and just long on the hill on the hit by former marie heredia cologne 
Malone going for that sharp cross-court attack, but just not able to get her thumb turned down enough and sailed off to the far side. 6-5 Panthers first set here in Pittsburgh between the Hurricanes and third rank Pitt Panthers. Left-handed hit behind. What an off-speed hit from Lopez, but it finds ground. Take a look at this one. She goes inside of the block. You can see there Rachel Fairbanks setting up all the way far up against that pin, needing to go in a step or two, and then Chiamaka Wokolo closing that block would have had a better chance. Saw Cassiano's reaction. Wow. There's another jump serve. Great dig by Klicka, but a little too far. Klicka digs it again. Miami looking to take the lead back. Good block up front by the Panthers. Vasquez Gomez. Go back and forth here at six all. And off the fingertips of the Hurricanes, the kill by Valeria Vasquez Gomez. Great rally early on between these two teams. We'll take a look at a portion of it. The great dig by Emmy Klicka, the set by Tori Stafford, and then the kill from Vasquez Gomez. The Panthers so efficient in their out-of-system play. So whenever Rachel Fairbanks does not touch that second ball, they still are able to be so efficient with their offense. Chance for Vasquez Gomez to get to 200 kills tonight. And another service there for the Panthers, seven all. Dan Fisher said he, he was going to talk to his team often about remembering that this the Louisville match was just a regular season match. As great as it was, there's still work to be done. I think they've come that way. There's a lot of experience as Vasquez Gomez gets another kill. But as we've said, this Miami Hurricanes team coming in here is a very strong team. They have a lot of good wins on their resume. Two of those against Georgia Tech, who sits at number 12 in the country right now. One, another win against NC State, who's one of the top tier teams within the ACC. So this is a team that knows how to win. And a five setter against Florida State. And Rachel Fairbanks, two service errors here tonight. She's really trying for that deep corner and just long both times. Miami took the big challenge and played at Wisconsin earlier this year. And you know, that's what you have to do to be an NCAA tournament team. you got to play those tough matches early. And the Panthers turn some scrambling into a point. Jeff, you want to talk about athleticism. Watch Rachel Fairbanks all the way across the court diving into the scores table and then Olivia Babcock able to go high hands off of that block and, and down. Just another assist. Yeah, just, that's all it is. Just not, put it in the book. Vasquez Gomez, the serve goes a little long and it's killed deep by Emma Monks. Great job up front by Emma Monks, just being aware of what was going on, stepping back so that she could go forward on that overpass. Monks has joined this season with the Panthers. And an ace for Vasquez Gomez. The patented Valeria Vasquez Gomez celebration there. 28 aces on the season for Vasquez Gomez. And you can just see the movement on that ball side to side and then right as Anna Gre Angela Grieve thought she had her arms in the right place. It moves at the very last second. And the longest run for the Panthers so far tonight at 3-0. And Panthers keep it alive. Tori Stafford puts it down. What a job. The touch is key on that between Stafford and Monks getting that ball slowed down so that Vasquez Gomez had enough of a chance to get high hands on that ball. How about Emmy Klicka putting that in a spot where Stafford could execute the kill? And again, another out of system play that they're able to execute well. Emmy looking to stop this run. Greaves hit, dug by Klicka. Babcock from the 
back. Chance here for Miami off the tip. And the Panthers off the floor. They hit just a little long from Vasquez Gomez. Miami gets served back. Valeria Vasquez Gomez is talented, but coming off of the ground on one knee, reaching backwards, she almost was able to get that ball down. Angela Grieve averages over three kills a set. They serve. And Stafford is dug. And the hit back just a little far. And point to the Panthers. I think that was a little more of uh, Grace Lopez just saving her face on that swing by Tori Stafford coming down the line right at Lopez. Freshman to freshman, Tori Stafford takes that one. We're back to Cat Flood, a 13-9 pit lead first set here on the ACC Network. Panthers have had success at home. They've had success pretty much everywhere, but especially at home and an ace for Cat Flood. And we're going to get a substitution from Coach Keno. That's the second ace that we've seen off of Angela Greaves. So going with a passing substitute here is Coach Keno, and we'll see what she's able to do. Ilani Feliciano is in. We've seen the Panthers a couple of times as service here. Hit it towards Greaves a few times on serves. And Jeff, Miami has 10 points. Five of those points have come off of service errors from Panthers. Mauricio, the sophomore from Illinois. And an opportunity to keep Miami in the set. Good dig attempt, but just too hard from Olivia Babcock. Panthers with an early five point lead. First set here in Pittsburgh. The all new Shark Detect Pro Auto Empty System. Shark's most intelligent cordless yet. Detects hidden dirt and boosts power. Detects edges and doubles suction power. It even empties automatically. Shark Detect Pro. Clean smarter. Shelves. Shelves that know what taste buds want. Shelves smart enough to see, sense, react, restock. So caramel swirl is always there for the taking. Whoa, the new iPhone 15. But that amazing camera, I wish my family had them. Zoe, you're an action star. Take action. Join T-Mobile and get four new iPhone 15s on them and four lines for 25 bucks a line. With that camera, I'll be sharing pics from the slopes. You do not want to see yourself skiing. Yeah, I'm good at skiing. Your stunt woman is. This holiday at T-Mobile, get four new iPhone 15s on us and four lines of unlimited for 25 bucks a line. What do you think of the jacket? You look like a marshmallow. The schedule makers did Miami no favors, although in a way, maybe they did an opportunity for an upset and to really make a statement for the NCAA tournament. Look at that schedule, Amanda. I mean, you started off at the top there at the end of October with Louisville, and then you sandwich a Virginia game in between, and then you have Pitt on the other side, Florida State, who now is currently ranked 23rd in the country. Then you go against Georgia Tech, and then, oh, by the way, now we're here in Pittsburgh again. And just long, a sixth service error for the Panthers. Dan Fisher thinking about using the green card and will. Off Usually that serve. He looks for his players to really be adamant about calling that, but he himself was very adamant about 
getting that green challenge card out to say that that serve was in. Of course, it's the one time where it's not a call where the where the Panthers are right there on it. We'll take a look. See that top spin heading down. Maybe. See from this angle. Ooh. So hard to tell. And that's the thing is it was called out on the play. See, so, on that one, it looks like it hits line. So you have to find that video evidence to completely overturn the call that was on the court. I know there was some, from both sides, there was some complaining even after replay that the calls were wrong. No matter what you do, there's always going to be. And I always credit these officials oh, because they're amazing. nine times out of ten, they are spot on. And with how fast this game is, yes, we'll see this one slowed down a bit more. Might have caught line, yeah. And, and there we go. It's an ace. Caught, and, and the thing is too, Jeff, it just has to catch a piece of the line. It doesn't have to be completely on it or in. It The, the ball can just catch the very back inch of that line. Coach Kendara. Slight disagreement, but now we're back to play. It's 16-10. Panthers had a shot. Torrey Stafford, though, ends up putting it away, and Pitt has its biggest lead of set number one. That's an overpass that Stafford and Wokolo definitely want back because they both went up and they whipped. And somehow the ball caught the net and came back over onto their side. And Coach Keno not happy about the call. Not sure if he was looking for a double contact potentially or saying that there was four touches. Seemed like he was looking for a double contact, but to no avail. Good serve, Doug. Opportunity in the middle and point to the Miami Hurricanes. It's Cassiano. And a great set there from Vok going with the back set to Cassiano in the middle and then able to terminate. Cassiano has been here in two different uniforms. One of Syracuse, now of Miami. What a dig by Miami's Yadiz Rosado. Torrey Stafford. Rosado puts it in play and it's blocked out of bounds. So Miami scrambles to get the point and pull within five. Rosado had an incredible dig on that Babcock swing, just standing in there. Back serve from the back and wide point Miami, no touch. And the Panthers get a timeout, 17 13. Pitts hitting 391, 357 for Miami. And we've seen that, saw that against Louisville. Uh, and we saw it, obviously, seeing it here tonight. The Cardinals bounce back and get a win. Georgia Tech won the first set. They were up three late in the second set. And much like here at Pitt, they came back, took that second set to the Cardinals, and then went on take the rest of, of the match. And that is a split between those two teams as Georgia Tech took a match earlier from Louisville. So a split for those two teams, a split for the Panthers and the Cardinals as well. And to your point that you were talking about with, with the hitting percentage, the Panthers not really getting, having success with their block. They're getting touches on a lot of the swings, but they're not consistently getting complete blocks as we take a look at the battle that is for first place within the ACC, the Cardinals have those three losses. Florida State has a game this weekend. The Panthers have tonight and then another game as well against Syracuse this weekend. So a very, very tight battle at the top of the ACC. 
Now Louisville can only hope. Obviously, they're in the NCAA tournament. Um, they're going to have opportunities to do great things. And I think it was said well on Saturday that there really wasn't a loser in that match between the Panthers and Cardinals. In fact, it was said by Dan Fisher that way. Two teams that played at a really high level. The Panthers came out on top. And the almost 9,000 Panther fans, or just and volleyball fans in general, that were in attendance there got a great match. And yeah, as you said, tonight looks like a sold out crowd. Box serve as Miami has three straight points. And the tip is floated right back. Fairbanks over to Stafford, and she hits it through the block. That's four kills for Stafford. That's a play for Miami that you really should set up for your offense. Keep that ball on your side, get that second touch, get a really solid third touch rather than just throwing the ball directly back right into the heart of the Panthers' defense. Stafford serve. And middle, good dig by Bayless. Excuse me, by Babcock. And Panthers get that point, and now it's Miami that's going to get a timeout not long after the Panthers called one. Jeff, take a look at this play. The great block attempt by Woklo, and then the back set from Emmy Klicka to get it on the outside to Vasquez Gomez. The out of system play for this Panthers team is truly remarkable in what they're able to do. Any player on this team can touch the second ball with their hands and put it in a great spot for any one of their hitters. And you've heard a lot of the crowd reaction. Another big crowd here at the Fitzgerald Fieldhouse after nearly 9,000 at the Peterson Event Center. And the Panther students weren't there. They were home. It was Thanksgiving break already for the Pitt students. And dare say if they're there, that probably is a sellout of over 12,000. 10K easy. And then you're, you're looking at, I mean, you think about the crowds that the Panthers are able to get for their bat, their men's basketball games with with filling up the zoo, I easily think that you can get another couple thousand people in there for that volleyball match. And I think the Panthers fans will be able to have that opportunity come next week. We have the selection show that we mentioned next or so, next week. I'm the selection show is this Sunday, right? So the selection well, show is technically coming. next week. Yeah. I mean, it depends on how where you yeah, fall. Yeah, which on that. calendar you look at, but. So, I mean, the Panthers could end up hosting next weekend and see a crowd just like this, except down the street. Tied for game high with four kills. Stafford serve at 19-13. Dig by Babcock. Vasquez Gomez sends it back. Chance here for Miami. Right side set, dug again by Babcock, but over, and a left-handed kill from Lopez. Wow. Lopez just picking up her second kill of the night. Been quiet so far, but maybe that's something that can get her going. That overpass coming over, taking charge, and putting that ball down for a much needed point for Miami. You mentioned the one kill. She averages four set. And the jump serve is out by Radio Cologne. Panthers now at 20. And a much cleaner match for Miami when you look at it. Just one attack error and one service error. And on the side of the Panthers, five service errors here in this first set and two attack errors. Dylan Griffin to serve. Sophomore's gotten some valuable playing time and has had some big serves for this team. And the lefty with the near ace. The Grief tried to dig kill, but was end up blocked, and the Panthers now up 21-14. And there she ran into the fourth best blocker in the country in Emma Monks, but you see what you were talking about, Jeff. All of these Panthers playing their role on this team. They were told exactly what they were going to do. Dan Fisher said, you're going to be our serving specialist, and they are doing that to their best of their abilities. And a block by Emma Monks off Lopez. Monks again. As I said a moment ago, the fourth best blocker in the nation at one and a half per set. Now call that two here. Just getting over there, perfect timing. 
in a great setup there of Vasquez Gomez on the outside. We saw against Virginia Tech when she had 11 blocks and a three setter. And kill in the middle just long, no tip. Panther point now two from this first set. Miami's going to call timeout. You know, there was a point in time where the hit percentages were near identical. It's 423 now for the Panthers. 143 for Miami. And you want to have a kill stopper. Just look to Emma Monks. I mean, she's just able to, what she's been able to do this season. She had a, a good career at Michigan State and then coming here, just really elevating her game above and beyond where she was before. And you could just see the success that she's had. Seven blocks, seven blocks, eight blocks. And then just five against Louisville, who is one of the top hitting teams in the country. But amazing what she's been able to do. Yeah, you look at what she's done in her career, those first four seasons, her hit percentage is, you know, nearly 100 better. And that's exactly what I was getting at, just saying how much she's been able to elevate her game. And this graphic shows you exactly that statistically, just offensively how she's been able to elevate her game, and then in particular with her defense. And it's interesting because she grew up in a volleyball hotbed in Louisville, went off to Michigan State, and then played in that incredible match. And there was a point in that match on Saturday where she got a block against her old teammate and one of the best players in the game. And what a moment that was. And you could see, I think there was a little bit of an extra smile or a smirk, I guess you could say, from Monks and, after that play. And, and a quick aside, Anna DeVere played an amazing game that on Saturday. Just unbelievable volleyball. Panthers. And that tip dug by Griffin from the back. And Louisville can't keep it alive off the hit from Olivia Babcock. Take a look at the dig from Griffin. The back set almost from her knees by Fairbanks and then able to get the kill down. It's Babcock now here for set point. 5-0 run for the Panthers. On the arm of Dylan Griffin. Another serve in, which has been part of the issue here tonight. Kill is dug and sent over by Griffin. Radia Cologne, back set Lopez. Dug again by Griffin. She immediately thinks all oh, that was going to be out. Chance here again. Greaves hit and a point. The Hurricanes stay alive in this first set. But credit Dylan Griffin throughout that entire play. Watch Emma Monks get down, and then one-handed, the ball gets over by Dylan Griffin, but just too much power on the outside from Greve. Rosado to serve for Miami. And Panthers just have to send that one over. A chance here for the Hurricanes. Lopez winds up, is blocked, and that'll do it. A block ends the first set. And an exciting one at that. Coming into its own in the latter half of that first set. Yadaliz Rosado. Chance here for Emma Monks. Good block. Chance here for Lopez. She'll tip it. Babcock gets out of the way. And right side a little too far for Vasquez Gomez. And like the first set, Miami gets the first point. The Panthers really love getting that first good touch and then trying to get the ball to Emma Monks, but a great job of Miami in the middle getting a good touch on that swing and then able to get the point. You gotta think that Vasquez Gomez and Rosado have played against each other or with each other at some point, both from Puerto Rico. Set and Reeve, a pancake play, but not pancake enough as a kill from Grieve, it's 2 0 Miami. I guess more of a half pancake as it did not fully short come stack off of the hand of Fairbanks. Great attempt, great decision for Miami to tip that ball over. So continues to serve. 
Emma Monks puts that one away. First point for Pitt. And the Panthers serving five aces. Also six air, five errors. Vasquez Gomez. to Vasquez Gomez and Panthers have to send it over. Vasquez Gomez saves it. Torrey Stafford's able to put it away. The movement there from Vasquez Gomez to reach out and not only get an arm on it, but send it in the right direction. Unreal from Vasquez Gomez. Even Emma Monk's getting it up there. One armed in the front, then one armed in the back, and then the finish by the freshman Torrey Stafford. It hasn't been a clean system game here for the Panthers so far, but they have found ways to get points. From the back, blocked by Emma Monks. That's four blocks for Monks. How about this? Monks just camping out in the middle on that swing. And the Panthers really going after Angela Grieve here in serve receive again. She'll be back for a sixth year. Vasquez Gomez's serve. And Lopez winds up. Fairbank sends it over and a kill in the middle by number 17, Janice Leal. Great dig for the Panthers, but then Leal says, I've had enough of this point, finishes it off. And it's three all. Kill in the middle, but just wide on the hit by Monks. And what a dig on the backside of that from Emmy Klicka, getting that right to target. Rachel Fairbanks able to get it up, but just wide on the swing. Lopez. And that serve short, it's 4-4. Four -four. Boy, Lopez though, you can see why Miami's excited about her. And she, Puerto Rican. And she had initially thought about just kind of coming into easing into college volleyball and, and maybe I'll redshirt. And she told coach, she said, I, I want to earn a spot and a position on this team. And through the course of the preseason, she found her way onto this team and now leads them in kills. Return of flood serve and flood unable to dig it. And point for Miami in a 5-4 lead. It's Leao again. Leao picking up her second kill here in the match. Three each for Grieve and Heredia Cologne. Into the Grieve. And that's a bit long. Grieve 28 aces this year. Her numbers, 256 kills, 28 aces, 164 digs, and 45 blocks. And now, from one jump serve to another previous serve by Lopez. Man, something about the freshman. Which is net, but over, and a tip. Falls. What a play by Leal. And so who had smart. Been very quiet until this set. And so smart too, as she saw that she had two blockers up, so she had space in that four spot. And you could see with Tori Stafford coming over to block that left a hole right in that near side. Well, she's played a few few matches in her career. All the way back, it's sent, and a good dig by the Hurricanes. They'll try it from the back. Panthers dig. Well, over to Stafford. Stafford is blocked, and Pitt sends it over. Right-handed hit, and Pitt found a way to get it over. And it dunk. How many times do we see Rachel Fairbanks? A couple times a game. And it's always at the perfect moment where the defense is not ready and she was able to somehow dive and get that ball up. 
and then a long rally between these two teams. And she had two blockers up, just left four players just standing around. And Fairbanks, you see there, the career-high 58 assists in that five-set match on Saturday. She can do it all. Seems to have eyes in the back of her head. Lopez winds up as dug by Klicka. Gomez will tip it this time. And a pancake for Miami. Vasquez Gomez again and in. And a lot of Miami players thinking that that ball was out. And I think we're going to have a challenge from Most Coach Keno. Right by the Miami bench. And I think he was asking just for the call to be changed without having to use a challenge. Now he's going to have his player have Vok go over and talk. I think that's in. I was going to say, it, it's very similar to what we were looking at with the challenge that the Panthers had on the serve in the first set where it looks like that does catch that back line. Amanda, you are one for one on, on calls. Usually I'm not good. Usually I'm not good. Oh, no, I think you're very good. Did Vaughn get a piece of that? Calling challenges, but. Seemed like a very polite discussion. Panthers will play at Syracuse on Friday. And a point to the Panthers. So the call stands. It's 7-6 pit. Again, just catching a piece of that back line. Two plays that were challenged that went in favor of the Panthers. Coach Keno not happy. I think uh, uh, from another part of that play. Stafford serve, dug by Grieve. Right side blocked. Wokolo Fairbanks were in on that. And you've got to love the setter for the Panthers, Rachel Fairbanks, getting up for the block and filling in the stat sheet. She has 12 assists already to go along with two blocks and two kills. And good job in the middle by Miami. I think that was Bach that knocked that through Wokolo and a point for the Hurricanes. Vasquez Gomez blocked. Miami's picking up its defense, but couldn't touch that one. I can't believe how quick Rachel Fairbanks was able to get that ball back out. The blockers were camped out still on the near pin, but they just didn't even have a chance to get up to attempt to block it. And with how quick Vasquez Gomez was able to get up off the ground, incredible job. Dylan Griffin to serve at 9-7. Panthers won the first set. 25-15. And Vasquez Gomez blocked at the net. Cassiano. One of the veteran leaders on this team, Abby Cassiano, the grad student. And you could see with that ball being out of system, that block just able to camp out on that hitting shoulder of Vasquez Gomez. No shot to get that ball through. able to dig it somehow and the hit long by Olivia Babcock and we're tied at nine. Floor Marie Heredia Colon. 23 aces, 302 kills. And 
Add three more to that tonight. And that serve is wide. There are a lot you know, of great servers in this match, though. And, and we've seen it from the younger players. Is that youth that you see more of that? Or is that a trend that you think we're going to see more of that uh, in the women's volleyball game here at NCAA level? I think it's just an acquired skill. I mean, some players like to do a serve like that. Some players like to have just a jump like top space serve, like we just saw our float serve from Rachel Fairbanks, but all preference. Good dig by Stafford. And Rachel Fairbanks keeps that alive. Gomez is blocked, but out of bounds. And it's 10-10. Another kill for Grace Lopez. Now even at three with a couple of her teammates in Leo Grieve and Heredia Colon. Sato to serve. Five kills each for Vasquez, Gomez, Stafford, and Babcock. Good serve. Vasquez, Gomez is trying to send it over, and Miami takes the lead here in the second set. Credit to the Miami serve. The Panthers not able to get a lot of great first touches in this second set, and that is leading to them having to be out of system often in their offense. Stafford, Vasquez Gomez, and hits floor, and it's 11-11. Why not rely on your veteran player on the court in Valeria Vasquez Gomez? Push the ball out, and she knows what to do with it every time. 23 wins for the Panthers this year, 14 in the conference. Louisville won already. Florida State also has 15 wins. And blocked at the net, but on the Panthers' side. And Leal, again, who's been big in this second set. A hard swing directly into a double block from the Panthers. Leal just going for it. Lopez. Stafford a bit long and a kill by Grieve up front and it's a two point lead and a timeout for the Panthers. 13-11 Miami trailing by a set here in Pittsburgh. Rated team, when did you last really feel something? Beyond the extraordinary. Feel it now on PlayStation 5. PlayStation. Students. Students of any age from anywhere. Students in a new kind of classroom. Using our technology to power different ways of learning. Harnessing AI to plant new beginnings. So when minds grow, opportunities follow. Hey, it's me, your skin. I want to feel extra clean, but will it leave me tight or stripped? I'm craving a balanced cleanse with CeraVe. CeraVe Foaming Cleanser, developed with dermatologists, cleanses and removes excess oil. With niacinamide known to keep me calm and three essential ceramides, CeraVe prevents disruption of my natural barrier for a cleanse that gives, not just takes. So we're refreshingly clean. CeraVe Clean. CeraVe Foaming Cleanser from the number one dermatologist recommended skincare brand. All time in Miami history, Savannah Vock is closing in on that number, just 69 assists behind Katie Gallagher for first place. And you know, I get the sense, man, you've coached that if you had two players to pick, Vock would probably be one, Fairbanks would be another that you that would be high up on the list. Absolutely. I mean Savannah Vock just playing all the way around, able to do any have any set that she wants and put it up exactly where a hitter needs to have it 
and Fairbanks on the other side, but Vok with what she's been able to do, she's 11th in the nation in assists per set, first in the ACC, just incredible. Vok wasn't even a big setter when she came into Miami. Good dig, kill in the middle. And Emma Monks. Boy, what a dig that was, Our off the serve, service return. That's a play that you draw up in that timeout and say, we get a good first touch. That set is going quickly off of the hands of Fairbanks, immediately to the arm of Emma Monks. And it looks like we have, I we have think, a substitution or a, not injury timeout, but I think a, a little bit of layout. blood on the elbow of Rosado. But take a look at this dig from Emmy Clicka, just absorbing that serve and then putting the ball down. Emma Monks, a much needed point for the Panthers as before that, the Panthers had caught a timeout as Miami took a two point lead. What are those wrists and forearms feeling like this point of the season? Not good. <laughs> <laughs> Battered and bruised. And I think at, the, at, that, at this point in the season, you just don't really feel anything, just numb because it's not just the season, it's all the practices and the preseason and whatever work you did in the off season. These programs are in the top half of the ACC. You see the Panthers, they're a half game behind Florida State and the Hurricanes right behind NC State as that, as we entered today, Cardinals now 15 and three after beating Georgia Tech in four sets earlier. Cat Flood. Near ace for Flood. Kill attempt in the middle is blocked by Wokolo. Chiamaka Wokolo, but a little quiet here in this match, but a big block there. Now we are even at 13 apiece. The depth, I think, is what's so improved with the Panthers. Flood at 13. Maybe Cologne kind of seemed like she thought last second, I, I better play this. Went a little long and the Panthers able to kill it in the middle. It's she again. And again, that's just the efficiency of what Cat Flood is able to do behind the service line. Just amazing with that float serve that she has, just wreaking havoc. Blocked and she tried to dig it, but couldn't. I think Leal got it again. Leal, graduate student from Massachusetts, CC Defensive Player of the Week. We're seeing why. Here is she has come alive in this second set. It's 14 all. I think she chose well with her college choice, moving down to <laughs> South Beach. Does she dare wear a Patriots hat down there in Miami Dolphins territory? I think it's only reasonable because of uh, someone called Tom Brady. <laughs> Never heard of him. <laughs> Take a look at this here. Babcock just going right into that block and then into the pin point for the Panthers. <laughs> Kill in the middle, blocked over. Once again, Leal. Now five kills to lead the Hurricanes, and we're 15 all. And a big moment for Miami to get Olivia Babcock off of the service line after just one attempt. Alana Moisio to serve for the Hurricanes at 15s. And a slide by Wokolo as Doug Stafford tries to put it away, but Moisio gets the dig. Left-handed hit by Lopez and... An illegal back row attack there by Lopez. She's in the back row right now, so she is not allowed to attack a ball and step on or in front of the 10-foot line. And in that moment, she stepped on that line and 
and jump to attack the ball over the net. So point immediately over to the Panthers. Well, we've already seen a better Miami team this set than we saw in the first. And in the middle, blocked and dug. Vasquez Gomez is blocked, but out of bounds. Grief got up there with Bach, but it just went wide in 17-15. Somehow, Vasquez Gomez able to get out of the way of that ball coming back down at her. I see you eyeing those nachos that are going by us here. What, what are you looking at? Neck. Or maybe it's me looking at them. Serve there and a one-handed hit over. And again, a slide from Wokolo. And you know, that's where the, the chair gets in the way as Vasquez Gomez looked to save it kill for Miami and it's 17-16 with Bach to serve. So we're up here in the upper level and people walk behind us after they get food. And back, block, and finally hit over, but it will fall out of bounds. Panthers back up two. You think everyone could be nice and maybe bring us a little, a little snack you know Jeff we're, we're working hard up here I know we're not down there on the court but you know we're working hard bringing you the action Dylan Griffin now to serve Dylan was huge at the end of the first set she served the Panthers out nearly of the first set and serve and a nice kill in the middle by Grieve or excuse me, Cassiano. Cassiano out of the middle. And credit the Miami Perfect. passers as they have done a much better job here in the second set, getting a better first contact, and that has led to being more efficient at the net. An all freshman team member last year, Heredia Colon now for Miami. It's Kez Gomez. And a tip now for the Panthers. Chance here for the Hurricanes. Lopez. Ties it up at 18. That lefty swing of Grace Lopez causing problems for the Panthers block, setting up too far near the out to the pin, and then that leaves that whole inside of the net open. Crowd getting behind the Panthers now at 18 all. Another good serve, and the Panthers just out of system. Lopez to take a Miami lead, unable to do it after the block and hit 19-18. And you said it, Jeff, the Panthers not able to get themselves going offensively here as of late. Just some miscommunications between Fairbanks and her hitters. I think a lot of times she's going for that quick offense and they're not quite ready for it. Mitchell Fairbanks to serve at 19-18. Service error for Fairbanks. It's 19 all. And that's her third service error of this match, Jeff. She had two back to back in the first set, and then one here now in the second. Rosado to serve for Miami at 19 all. And Emma Monks once again is short set and Monks is able to put it away. That's four kills for Monks. There's no stopping that one. With how quick that ball came off of the arms of Stafford, out of the hands of Fairbanks, and then Leal just has to hope that she can jump one-footed, and Monks just going on the inside of her arm. Vasquez Gomez. And kill in the middle. We go back and forth. Leal. Leal says, I see you're killing. I'll raise you one there, Emma Monks. 6-3 with the length. It's really a force for the Hurricanes. Logan Mosley in for the Panthers as Grace Lopez to serve at 20-20. And that one's long. Just, Just like never dove. Just like we talked about with the serve of Olivia Babcock, that risk and reward. And it's great when it's on, and then when it's not on, it causes problems. And a big problem, the 
score tied at 20 and then handing a free point over to the number three team in the country. See, 11 combined service errors here and we're not even through two sets. That's a little long and a kill by Tory Stafford, an essential ace, if you will, for Cat Flood. Let's take a look at this one. No chance for Bach Savannah Bach done, yeah. up against Tory Stafford. Now six kills already tonight. Panthers three from the second set. Bach sets up the middle. Mosley keeps it alive. Panther tip by Olivia Babcock. And Miami's going to call timeout at 23 20 as the Pitt Panthers go on a late run here to take a three point lead. And a lot of it due to errors on the side of Miami. Unfortunately, you battle through all the way through this second set, get yourself to be tied at 20 with the Panthers, and then you have a service error, an overpass, and then the Panthers just able to put the ball away on that last point. What is it that Miami might be doing to get the Panthers out of system? As we see the hit percentage, you know, the Panthers 414, they didn't do they did some of that out of system in the first set. Um, but in set number two, you know, we see the Panthers just not as... As efficient. Exactly. And I think the thing for Miami is that they need to keep up with the tempo. I talked about it early in the first set. Whenever they're able to have that quicker tempo offensively, get a good first touch, get a quick second set, and then have all of your hitters available to swing, that is where you have to keep the Panthers' defense honest and they don't have a chance to cheat one way or another. And so then that, that's where you have the best chance to terminate or at least get a much better swing att attempt on the ball. Olivia Babcock with eight kills, seven for Valeria Vasquez Gomez, six for Janus Leal, Grieven Lopez with four each for the Hurricanes. Miami's looking to stop this 3-0 Panther run as Cat Flood to serve. And the reliable Cat Flood, we've seen it with, with Rachel Fairbanks, just a little bit long. And that's a credit to Coach Keno, that timeout. He needed his team to Stop really regroup, run. but then you make Cat Flood think for a much longer amount of time about her serve. Leilani Feliciano. Just a sophomore herself, looks like Dylan Griffin. Tori Stafford. Miami keeps that alive. Fairbanks sets up Babcock on the other side. And the Panthers get a kill. Nine now for Olivia Babcock. Well, it worked last time and ended up with the service error, so why not call timeout again when the Panthers are serving for this second set? Jeff Hathorn, Amanda Sile here at the Fitzgerald Fieldhouse in the University of Pittsburgh. The second to last match of the year for both teams. Panthers at Syracuse on Friday. And Miami is at Boston College, they think it's cold here. <laughs> Just travel a couple of hours north and they will find out. Yeah, this is one where you're the Miami football team. It's drizzly and in the 40s here. You're not loving it, but thankfully, this is an indoor sport. It is, and a packed Fitzgerald Fieldhouse at that, Jeff. We showed earlier the crowd that was in Pittsburgh, but just down the street, in the Peterson Event Center of almost 9,000. And here tonight, we have a couple thousand fans as well, as you see the hitting efficiencies, a big factor in this match. And then also the defense of the Panthers, you see seven blocks compared to just two for Miami. Babcock has the ability to add to that ace total. And even though Miami doesn't have any aces, they have been effective in their serve. Much, much more so in this second set, getting the Panthers not 
completely in system and having to really rely on their out of system play at large stretches of the second set. Set point, Babcock. for Olivia Babcock, and that's how the second set ends. Just like she drew it up in the timeout. Ace, let's finish it here. Panthers hits way. By the way, Leao is hitting 600 as we start the third set. Grieve keeps that one alive. And Miami's going to have to send it over. Fairbanks sets Babcock. Double digit kills for the freshman. And why not, after her performance, a career high, 23 kills on Saturday against Louisville, 21 kills for Tori Stafford as she sits with six on the night. And there's Rachel Fairbanks who had a career high, 58 assists in that match. Kill in the middle, blocked, and Louisville's able to keep it alive. Vox sends it over. Emma Monks wants it, but it's over to Vasquez Gomez through the block, and it's 2-0 Panthers. So far early in this second, or third set, excuse me, Miami really not helping themselves as they haven't been able to get going offensively. Really, it was, I think, 18-all, and the Panthers took control, and now Pitt starts out strong here. Um, they've really got this thing rolling. Another good serve from Fairbanks. And the hit from, from the back is blocked by Emma Monks. Six blocks for Monks. How about a triple block for you here, Jeff? Six hands up, leaving no space for the swing. And now a 3-0 lead for the Panthers. Fairbanks wide on the serve. 23 assists for Fairbanks. Now a chance here for the Hurricanes. Came in for, for Dimchi. A junior from Istanbul. And rising up from the back is Babcock just hung in the air at 6'5". It seemed like she still had more height to go. Just look how high she's able to get, and then just going off of the top of the hands, lay out a little bit late on that block, and then not able to elevate up high enough, which led Badcock to be able to go on top of the hands. Amy goes over to Grieve and hits it through the block. As the block lands out of bounds, it's 4-2. And that's a part of her game. I asked Coach Fisher earlier this week, Jeff, about Olivia Babcock and Tori Safford. We've asked him all season, but he said that's one of the parts of her game that she's improved in the most is her blocking and defense in Olivia Babcock. And that just gets over. Fairbanks able to save it. And a great save there. Can Miami get it over? If they had one more hit. If four was allowed, that would have been an incredible point. Fairbanks just turns around. <laughs> you can see just kind of shrug her shoulders like, all right, and I got it, guys. that's during play. I'm just going to stand here in the middle. Is it, she says to herself, is this what it's like to be a middle hitter? Just looking around you as the play is happening? She's so calm in these matches that, that pressure never seems to get to her. That flood serve and a block again. This is Mokolo and Stafford. I think Stafford got that one. I think that was a lot of Tory Stafford on that block. Take a look at it here. Layout trying to go up, and Tory oh, yeah. Stafford says, no thank you. Six two Panthers holding Miami to 154. And kill from the left side by Heredia Colon. Jeff, you talk about the hitting percentage for Miami, but that's just what Pitt has done all season against their opponents. They're seventh in the nation in opponent hitting percentage at 147, so right around where Miami is, they just bumped up to 167. So the Panthers doing what they've done all season. Luciano the serve. 
Stafford rises up but is blocked by Vach. We saw Rachel Fairbanks earlier with a block as a setter and Vach showing what she can do up at the net defensively. Block, three digs, 16 assists. Kill in the middle. Hit through the block that time by Chiamaka Wokolo. And it's 7-4 pit. Third set here in Pittsburgh. Panthers took the first two. Jeff Hathorne, Amanda Sile. Olivia Babcock to serve. What a diving return and hit through the block out of bounds. Good point for the Hurricanes to turn that serve around into a point. Take a look at this. Neilani Feliciano laying out for the pass. Slide, we've seen that a couple of times for Chiamaka Wokolo. We see that slide from Wokolo. Rachel Fairbanks in the front row right now, so the Panthers just have two hitters, but that leaves that whole space along the right side, and that's why Wokolo loves that slide with, with Fairbanks in the front row. Kill attempt blocked and then wisely sent back by Vasquez Gomez. The fifth year player for the Panthers showing her volleyball smarts there, getting the block attempt and then the ball just hanging up in the air and putting it away. See the nine kills for Vasquez Gomez. Good dig by Stafford. Vasquez Gomez with the tip sent right back by Heredia Colon. Slide again, and just no chance for Rosado. That was a pretty one, Jeff. All the way to the near pin, and then just able to finish it off with authority as Wokolo. Panthers are up two sets to none, and up 10-5, thanks to all the things that Rachel Fairbanks does. Students, students of any age, from anywhere. Students in a new kind of classroom. Using our technology to power different ways of learning. Harnessing AI to plant new beginnings. So when minds grow, opportunities follow. I know where to find all the holiday deals. What? This season, get ready for big savings. 20 to 60% off. Oh my deals. And find all the gifts. Respect the deal. Respect the deal. For way less. I definitely believe in savings. Bring in the new deal. And so does everyone on this couch. The holidays start with savings at Ross. Yeah, there's it. Yeah. Panthers going for a 12th sweep of the ACC season. And you see how it's progressively improved year to year. Will improve this year, regardless if this one's a sweep or not, obviously. But at times, it's just dominant in a conference that continues to improve, Amanda. And it will continue to improve as we move to next yeah. year. And it will continue to improve as we move to next yeah. year. The second ranked team in the country. The tree. The tree is coming to the Berg. Tori Stafford to serve, 10-5 pit. Block and tip recognized by Vasquez Gomez. She'll kill. 10 for Vasquez Gomez, and she is four for, from 200 for the season. And the, the recent plays that she has had are just incredible. 
just the knowledge and the quickness that she has to recognize what's going on and then able to execute it. Lefty off. Nearly the face of Babcock. Just a big hit. And we mentioned this conference, the Cal Bears trying to kind of reestablish themselves. SMU, 25 wins this year, 18 and one in conference play. And of course, the nine time national champion, Stanford Cardinal. Super casual. I mean, just, just a few random teams coming to the ACC. Good serve again. Fairbanks tries to catch Miami off guard. Well recognized. Greaves hit is dug. Now from the back is Stafford dug by Heredia Colon. Battle at the net. And able to get it over is Cassiano from her back. And the Panthers unable to save it. Miami guts to a point to make it 11-7. Wow. Great joust there between the two teams. And then I have no clue how Grieve was able to get that ball over. And just the rest of her teammates keep it alive there at the net. And that's all you have to do. Radio Cologne, nice serve. And dug by Vok. Grieve. Vasquez Gomez to tip and the pancake. What a play by Miami. Fairbanks sends it over, but Rosado is able to save it. Vasquez Gomez hits it long and two really key hustle points. And they're saying that that was tipped, so it won't be Miami's point. It will be the Panthers. What a dig by Klicka in the middle of that, and then the save again by Grieve. Look at her layout for this, and you could see right there it goes directly off of the, the face of her hand. Coach Keno is not, or he is, going to challenge whether or not it's a tip. That's, that's a big point, because 12-7 to 11-8, when you're down two sets to none at this point. But Miami has been scrappy, Jeff. These last couple of points, my goodness. The defense that we've seen, and on occasion it doesn't look good, but all that matters is that you're keeping the ball off the floor. It's effective. Found a way. So Miami is arguing there was no touch. I think you see that go off the top of the fingers of Cassiano. I think that first angle that we saw, this one's going to be tough because her hands are moving. She's going across. The, basically, her hands are going across the uniforms of the Panthers, right. and so it's hard to see. But that first look that we had, I think you see the right hand. Yeah, right there. You see the finger go yep. back. Boy, great job by our crew. They that do an angle. outstanding job all year. And a point to the Panthers. I think if Coach Keno saw that angle, he would say, okay, I accept it. And he is 0 for 3. And but he's that, pointing with three fingers at the officials saying right. that's three. That's three of them. But three of them that he they were thinks up. he's supposed to get? but they were upheld by replay. And I, and I truly think definitively in all of those cases that we saw the replays. Dylan Griffin to serve for the Panthers at 12-7. Reeve digs it. And double hit by the Hurricanes. Very, very, very rare error from Savannah Bach. Just not able to get both hands on that ball cleanly, coming off a little awkward, and that leads to an easy double contact call. 25-15 the first set, 25-21 in the second. Now a six-point lead here in the third for the Panthers. And an ace for Dylan Griffin. Something about that lefty serve. Just going all the way across the court as she's at that far corner, and then that ball is going across the body you could read the label on the volleyball on that serve. And take there just too far. 
far and an easy one for Emma Monks. And like you said earlier, Jeff, essentially that is an ace for Dylan Griffin. With that overpass from Rosado, that's two mishandles in a row for her as the ball came across her body on the last one and she had to go into Grieve to pass that. And now we have Grace Lopez coming back in to see if she can pass up the serve of Dylan Griffin. Emma Monks, five kills, six blocks. Griffin, another good serve and another ace. I mean, that smile says it all. Sophomore from California. Coming into this year, Jeff, she had played 20 matches and had three aces. I think she now has, she's over 10. I'd Maybe a chance in the middle and a kill. Cassiano's trying to fire this Hurricanes team up. Trailing 16-8 and a service run needed by Adiz Rosado. Rosado serve. On the back is Babcock. Cologne sends it into the crowd. Well into the crowd on that dig attempt. It'll be a Babcock with 13 kills. Rachel Fairbanks to serve. Fairbanks with the ace. And a much needed ace for Fairbanks as she's had a number of service errors, not really having her strongest serving day, but I think she'll take that one. ACC setter of the week for the fourth time and just floats that one in front of Heredia Colon. And it just dies right in front of her, not able to extend her arms out. And tip recognized and dug. Vasquez Gomez doesn't kill for Vasquez Gomez. Panthers have just taken control here in the third. After a close second set that the Panthers really pulled out at the end, it's been all pit here in the third. Fairbanks to Vasquez. Gomez blocked. Leal. Jez Leal. Now two blocks on the night. It seems like more, you know? It does. I'm not disputing the official, the stats keepers. I'm just saying it. Seems like she's had a much bigger impact right. in the game than just two blocks. Here, Dimshi with the serve and. Olivia Babcock's able to put that one away. And that's someone who's had an impact in this game and a big one. Take a look at this swing. Just so quick. And then a little smile there. 14 on the night with six digs. Had her coming off her first career double-double. Lopez just having to flat foot it. You see Miami is just out of it right now. It's 21-9 Panthers. Vasquez Gomez to serve. Panthers hitting 364 and holding Miami to 167. Box sends it over. Good read by Vach to get Miami to double digits. And a big moment there for Miami, needing to stop that Panthers run. And you could just see the Panthers waiting to see what Vach was going to do. No one ready for Vach to swing at that second ball. Over 5,000 assists in her career. Mom was a volleyball player. Sister played at Harvard for a little bit. Emma Monks killed Doug. 
by Rosado, but no one is going to stop that one. Jeff, that ball just went straight down. Watch this. Volleyball clinic there from Olivia Babcock, turning her hands in, penetrating over the top of the net, getting on the hitter's shoulder. Perfection. Cat flood to serve at 22-10. Radio Cologne sends that one into the Panther bench. Jeff, you talk about going from the tough serve of Dylan Griffin. Now bring in, oh, another serving specialist who has about a dozen aces this season in Cat Flood. So Rachel Fairbanks, you see the smile. She would probably tell you that she's made too many errors, but once again, she makes a big difference for this pit team. And she's just such an intelligent volleyball player and also has the hustle, as you see there, and then her teammate paying it off on the back end. The set, and then the pass, the overpass from the serve, able to get it over, just beautiful hands, and puts it in the perfect spot for her teammates. And I think one of the things you notice about great athletes is that they make it look easy. What she was doing is not easy, but it looks that way, and she's in control of what's going on. And I think you said it best earlier, She never. she's so calm that nothing ever phases her. She's always in the moment. She knows exactly what she wants to do, what she is doing, and then what's going to come next. Rachel Fairbanks, 31 assists. A little bit of something in every category. Fairbanks is still just a junior. His first pit player in the modern era with a triple-double last year and against she had Hawaii. Two of them. She picked one up in the NCAA tournament against, against BYU. BYU. Yeah. How'd you like to say, oh, I picked up a casual triple double in an NCAA tournament match, played at home against BYU. It's the youngest of four sisters. So she probably had to learn tough. There's Fairbanks again, setting up Babcock. Good dig by Rosado. And a tip from the back. Logan Mosley comes in to save that. Babcock puts it away with the 15th kill. We're at match point. Look at Logan Mosley coming into the match, laying all out, and then a perfect pass to target. And Olivia Babcock knows exactly what to do with that ball. Cat flood. And a dunk by Vok. And Miami stays in this. And really, if you're Miami, you go up to Boston, you win that, and then you hope that the strength of schedule and some of the things that you've done over the years, especially against Georgia Tech, pays off. And they do set at 38 in the RPI, which is, is helpful when the committee is looking at teams to put in the tournament. Sends that a little long, and Miami stays alive. Twenty-four, twelve. Good dig by Mosley, and Miami stays alive. Klicka this time. In the middle, and Chiamaka Walkalo ends it. Her final point in the regular season at home for the senior. And just incredible efficiency all around for the Panthers. Finish off this match, hitting at a 366 clip, holding their opponents again below 200. Credit this Miami team as 